Streptococcus, Wikipedia article audio. Streptococcus is a genus of coccus gram-positive bacteria belonging to the phylum Firmicutes and the order Lactobacillales. Cell division in this genus occurs along a single axis in these bacteria, thus they grow in chains or pairs, hence the name from Greek sigma tau rho epsilon pi tau streptos, meaning easily bent or twisted, like a chain. Most are oxidase negative and catalase negative, and many are facultative anaerobes. Pathogenesis and Classification Alpha Hemolytic In 1984, many bacteria formerly considered Streptococcus were separated out into the genera Enterococcus and Lactococcus. Currently, over 50 species are recognized in this genus. This genus has been found to be part of the salivary microbiome. In addition to streptococcal pharyngitis, certain streptococcus species are responsible for many cases of pink eye, meningitis, bacterial pneumonia, endocarditis, erysipelas, and necrotizing fasciitis. However, many streptococcal species are not pathogenic and form part of the commensal human microbiota of the mouth, skin, intestine, and upper respiratory tract. Furthermore, streptococci are a necessary ingredient in producing Emmentaler cheese. Species of streptococcus are classified based on their hemolytic properties. Alpha hemolytic species cause oxidization of iron in hemoglobin molecules within red blood cells giving it a greenish color on blood agar. Beta hemolytic species cause complete rupture of red blood cells. On blood agar, this appears as white areas clear of blood cells surrounding bacterial colonies. Gamma hemolytic species cause no hemolysis. Beta hemolytic streptococci are further classified by Lansfield grouping, a serotype classification. The 20 described serotypes are named Lansfield groups A to V. In the medical setting, the most important groups are the alpha hemolytic streptococci S pneumoniae and streptococcus viridans group, and the beta hemolytic streptococci of Lansfield groups A and B. Pneumococci Table, Medically Relevant Streptococci when alpha hemolysis is present, the agar under the colony is dark and greenish. Streptococcus pneumoniae and a group of oral streptococci display alpha hemolysis. This is sometimes called green hemolysis because of the color change in the agar. Other synonymous terms are incomplete hemolysis and partial hemolysis. Alpha hemolysis is caused by hydrogen peroxide produced by the bacterium, oxidizing hemoglobin to green biliverdin. The viridans group, alpha hemolytic. Beta hemolysis, sometimes called complete hemolysis, is a complete lysis of red cells in the media around and under the colonies, the area appears lightened and transparent. Streptolysin, an exotoxin, is the enzyme produced by the bacteria which causes the complete lysis of red blood cells. There are two types of streptolysin, streptolysin O and streptolysin S. Streptolysin O is an oxygen-sensitive cytotoxin, secreted by most group A streptococcus, and interacts with cholesterol in the membrane of eukaryotic cells and usually results in beta-hemolysis under the surface of blood agar. Streptolysin S is an oxygen-stable cytotoxin also produced by most gas strains which results in clearing on the surface of blood agar. SLS affects immune cells, including polymorphonuclear leukocytes and lymphocytes, and is thought to prevent the host immune system from clearing infection. Streptococcus pyogenes, or gas, displays beta-hemolysis. 
Some weakly beta hemolytic species cause intense beta hemolysis when grown together with a strain of Staphylococcus. This is called the CAMP test. Streptococcus agalactiae displays this property. Clostridium perforans can be identified presumptively with this test. Listeria monocytogens is also positive on sheep's blood agar. Group AS pyogenes is the causative agent in a wide range of group A streptococcal infections. These infections may be non-invasive or invasive. The non-invasive infections tend to be more common and less severe. The most common of these infections include streptococcal pharyngitis and impetigo. Scarlet fever is also a non-invasive infection, but has not been as common in recent years. Beta hemolytic The invasive infections caused by group A beta hemolytic streptococci tend to be more severe and less common. This occurs when the bacterium is able to infect areas where it is not usually found, such as the blood and the organs. The diseases that may be caused include streptococcal toxic shock syndrome, necrotizing fasciitis, pneumonia, and bacteremia. Globally, gas has been estimated to cause more than 500,000 deaths every year, making it one of the world's leading pathogens. Group A Additional complications may be caused by gas, namely acute rheumatic fever and acute glomerulonephritis. Rheumatic fever, a disease that affects the joints, kidneys, and heart valves, is a consequence of untreated strep A infection caused not by the bacterium itself. Rheumatic fever is caused by the antibodies created by the immune system to fight off the infection cross-reacting with other proteins in the body. This cross-reaction causes the body to essentially attack itself and leads to the damage above. A similar autoimmune mechanism initiated by group A beta hemolytic streptococcal infection is hypothesized to cause pediatric autoimmune neuropsychiatric disorders associated with streptococcal infections, wherein autoimmune antibodies affect the basal ganglia, causing rapid onset of psychiatric, motor, sleep, and other symptoms in pediatric patients. Group B Gas infection is generally diagnosed with a rapid strep test or by culture. S. agalactii, or group B streptococcus, GBS, causes pneumonia and meningitis in neonates and the elderly, with occasional systemic bacteremia. They can also colonize the intestines and the female reproductive tract, increasing the risk for premature rupture of membranes during pregnancy and transmission of the organism to the infant. The American Congress of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, American Academy of Pediatrics, and the Centers for Disease Control recommend all pregnant women between 35 and 37 weeks gestation to be tested for GBS. Women who test positive should be given prophylactic antibiotics during labor which will usually prevent transmission to the infant. Group C The United Kingdom has chosen to adopt a risk factor-based protocol, rather than the culture-based protocol followed in the U.S. Current guidelines state that if one or more of the following risk factors is present, then the woman should be treated with intrapartum antibiotics. This protocol results in treatment of 15-20% of pregnant women and prevention of 65-70% of cases of early-onset GBS sepsis. This group includes S. equi, which causes strangles in horses, and S. zoopodemicus. S. equi is a clonal descendant or biovar of the ancestral S. zoopodemicus, which causes infections in several species of mammals, including cattle and horses. S. discolactii is also a member of Group C, beta hemolytic streptococci that can cause pharyngitis and other pyogenic infections similar to Group A streptococci.
Many former group D streptococci have been reclassified and placed in the genus Enterococcus. For example, Streptococcus faecalis is now Enterococcus faecalis. E faecalis is sometimes alpha hemolytic and E facium is sometimes beta hemolytic. The remaining non enterococcal group D strains include Streptococcus bovis and Streptococcus equinus. Group D Non hemolytic streptococci rarely cause illness. However, weakly hemolytic group D beta hemolytic streptococci and Listeria monocytogens should not be confused with non hemolytic streptococci. Group F streptococci Group F streptococci were first described in 1934 by Long and Bliss amongst the minute hemolytic streptococci. They are also known as streptococcus anginosus or as members of the S. Millery group. Preterm labor, prolonged rupture of membranes, intrapartum fever, prior GBS affected infante, GBS bacteriuria during this pregnancy. These streptococci are usually, but not exclusively, beta hemolytic. Streptococcus discalactii is the predominant species encountered, particularly in human disease. S. canis is an example of a GGS which is typically found on animals, but can cause infection in humans. S. Fasci is a GGS subspecies that has been found in marine mammals and marine fish species. In marine mammals it has been mainly associated with meningoencephalitis, septicemia, and endocarditis, but is also associated with many other pathologies. Its environmental reservoir and means of transmission in marine mammals is not well characterized. Group H streptococci cause infections in medium-sized canines. Group H streptococci rarely cause illness unless a human has direct contact with the mouth of a canine. One of the most common ways this can be spread is human-to-canine, mouth-to-mouth contact. However, the canine may lick the human's hand and infection can be spread, as well. Streptococci have been divided into six groups on the basis of their 16 srDNA sequences, S. anginosus, S. bovis, S. mitis, S. mutans, S. pyogenes and S. salivarius. The 16 S groups have been confirmed by whole genome sequencing. The important pathogens S. pneumoniae and S. pyogenes belong to the S. mitis and S. pyogenes groups, respectively, while the causative agent of dental caries, Streptococcus mutans, is basal to the Streptococcus group. Group G. Streptococci Group H. Streptococci Molecular Taxonomy and Phylogenetics Genomics The genomes of hundreds of species have been sequenced. Most Streptococcus genomes are 1.8 to 2.3 MB in size and encode 1,700 to 2,300 proteins. Some important genomes are listed in the table. The four species shown in the table have an average pairwise protein sequence identity of about 70%. Bacteriophages have been described for many species of Streptococcus. 18 prophages have been described in S. pneumoniae that range in size from 38 to 41 kb in size, encoding from 42 to 66 genes each. Some of the first Streptococcus phages discovered were DP1 and Omega-1. In 1981, the Camp family was discovered with CP1 as its first member. DP1 and CP1 infect both S. pneumoniae and S. mitis. However, the host ranges of most Streptococcus phages have not been investigated systematically. 
Natural genetic transformation involves the transfer of DNA from one bacterium to another through the surrounding medium. Transformation is a complex process dependent on expression of numerous genes. To be capable of transformation a bacterium must enter a special physiologic state referred to as competence. S. pneumoniae, S. mitis and S. oralis can become competent, and as a result actively acquire homologous DNA for transformation by a predatory fratricidal mechanism. This fratricidal mechanism mainly exploits non-competent siblings present in the same niche among highly competent isolates of S. pneumoniae. Lee et al. showed that nasal colonization fitness and virulence depend on an intact competence system. Competence may allow the streptococcal pathogen to use external homologous DNA for recombinational repair of DNA damages caused by the host's oxidative attack. Bacteriophage Natural Genetic Transformation